Hey, RJ, CNC Metalworks. Gonna get a little work done to the rat rod. All right, um, mock-up. One of the best ways to do this stuff is just throw some stuff on, see what you got, and mess around with it. And I've said it before, one of the things I love about the rat rod stuff, it's uh, no rules. We do want it to roll, we do, wanna, we do want it to run, and we do want to ride in it. The three R's, rat rods. And let's go look for some parts. thinking since we don't have a whole lot of nose room and we got things that we kind of hang on to from other jobs and parts and pieces short water pump looks like a pretty good motor now Another one. Just digging for treasure. Pretty bad when when your barn finds stuff is in your own barn. Over there, shop brackets with the bottoms in them. Not the shocks, but. These brackets could come in handy. All right, that gives us a couple of things. The reason I picked on this short water pump, old V groove pulley, pulley, um, and the fan. Hopefully, we don't need much for cooling. Remember, the one thing we want to do is keep this whole thing down to minimums. We got a couple mounts there. We're going to pick out the best ones. And remember, before we worked on our distances, so this old first generation water pump, they were real close to the motor, real close to the timing cover, so everything stayed in. And we should be able to run a, a single pulley catch the alternator I'll probably keep it down low even though that ain't a uh, like old school cool but alternators make things cheap and easy so single wire but if we can drive the alternator and the water pump that's all we need and uh, that'll keep the motor cool and the battery charged and hopefully give us a lot of clearance we're gonna kind of figure out where the radiator what kind of radiator um, and some sort of grill i got the hood you have seen before we're going to incorporate something but i think i might have an idea hopefully i have an idea i got a uh, got lots of different parts i think uh i think hot rodders custom car guys are a type of hoarder in some sense of the word parts and pieces always stacking up you think you're going to build them all but the one thing I do know, and I hate throwing something away and not having it, especially if I can use it. Okay, here's my grill, my grill idea. This is a, the grill sides of a 35 Pontiac. Um, Y'all remember all the old Pontiacs had the waterfall centerpiece that they're always famous for even way back in the 30s part of their grill in that centerpiece was a kind of a well it was kind of a big middle all this would be open and these these guys were like the radius size something like that kind of uh, at an angle and there'd be a big opening down the middle 
But I got an idea. Back when I was a kid, a long time ago, uh, some of the early influences on, in my life uh, were the custom car guys that were regular builders in magazines. And some were way back, and I just loved looking at their work and figuring out how they did it. Um, my first influence, no matter what, would be my father uh, from a very young age, because he was a hot rod car building dude. Um, but those little magazines, we used to take them to high school. Rod and Custom was a little thing, and so was Hot Rod. But what was cool about them was uh, there were guys in there like Westergaard, and later on, uh, Doug Thompson. I wasn't so much on the Barris stuff as, as some are influenced, probably Sam Barris, his brother, even more so than, than George. But Westergaard, man, he'd take this old low buck Fords, and he would do these really slick metal uh, applications and, and apply things that were expensive back then. You could get in the yard, Packard and, and Cadillac. And some of my favorite stuff uh, was the, his little Tell Dragon Coops. Uh, Valley Customs did some really cool stuff. Um, and of course, Doug Thompson with his, his Chevrolets and faded whiskers that come off the wheel wells and just some really cool chop tops and things like that so with that said what i got to thinking about was how cool that thing would be and different than a lot of rat rods with a cadillac and sow grill well i can't afford an aftermarket and or get a cadillac with sow grill but a little bit of line work and some influence I kind of noticed these old Pontiac half shells. They were kind of cool in their own way. And I'll see if y'all get the same idea. Of course, it's not chrome plated or nothing, but it'll give us a lot of air, build some kind of shell around it. I like that little pointed finish, maybe rake back, you know, a little angle. But uh, we're going to do a little mock up, see how it looks on that front end of that thing. And we welcome anybody suggesting anything. We're just goofing around with this one. So it's a, it's a lot of fun, but welcome all ideas. I still got a big hole in the roof out there. Nobody's commented on that yet. Chicken wire, leave a hole. I can roll out a panel and make it slick, show some metal work, bead roll the whole thing. I don't know. Y'all comment down below. Let us know what you think. You know, help us build it. It's kind of cool. All right, just for the sake of mock-up, we're really close on our profile line, give or take. We could probably use just a little bit more, which is good because of the carburetor. But uh, we're working with a solid six inches there. And that big old mechanical fan, it actually turns and gives us clearance radiator for reference on the inside lip with this thing completely bottomed out where it's going to be when it just sits gives us 16 by 18 on a radiator so I'm pretty sure there's probably something out there we can find and then like I was talking to you guys earlier 
the idea of this grill. Now, this is where you gotta do some imagining. along those lines. Okay, a little jam of wood and a couple pieces, but if we get back, start kind of, start getting that little track look. Now believe it or not, one of the reasons that I'm trying to put a hood on this thing is uh, I went to a little rat rod show a while back and Almost everything there, well, everything I saw was hoodless, and that's cool, but <clears throat> we really intend to drive this. Need a cool little shop parts go getter kind of deal, but um, we get a lot of rain here in Florida. It's, uh, well, it rains a lot here, period. So, the one thing I'd like to keep protected is the motor, but, uh, let us know what y'all think. A little track nose, Cadillac, and fakey LaSalle, extra parts from an old Pontiac, 38 Ford sedan doors, 40 truck cab. So, in some frame, we still can't figure out what that is, but it's cool because it's just parts and pieces. But so far, we're getting the clearances that we should be able to pull this off with. And thinking about form fitting this and a little swept cow, maybe some deep bug eye lights. Just keep it racy looking. Kind of crazy. The neat thing about rat rodding is you don't have to make everything pretty, so you can really throw and go on this stuff. But I don't know. It's already kinda it's already kinda getting its own look. But we gotta Get some suspension stuff done now.
what we're going to use for our parallel links. Axle goes here, drop downs, parts and pieces left over from a job. Here are bushings from some poly graphite spring bushings from an old kit from another job. Some pieces of roll bar tubing cut down. Move up. We had to shorten up and so we got some leftover hinds worked out. And uh, pretty cool. Look down through here. These have kind of a natural bow. They're both the same. They measured out really well. And it gives us a nice length. We got to use the old antique 41-ish to 46-ish four wishbones cut apart. Got our pattern set. Quick tip. What I'll do sometimes, I'll take the high speed on anything that's straight, kind of easy to do. I'll just cut a little ditch. Any kind of straight edge. I like paint paddles. Paint paddles are cool because you can just throw these away when they burn up and get another one. Usually, uh, most of these are always just given to us by the paint supply house. So, good little straight edge to use. Of course, some gloves, safety glasses, and for marking. Took one of our homemade bushings that y'all saw earlier. That's gonna give us our notch where we'll weld in. Our cut out for the arms that y'all saw. And we'll get these brackets cleaned up and welded on. That little ditch that we pre-cut, it'll actually help help keep it straight. And you can see the little paint paddle starts getting kind of gnarly on the edge. You just get rid of that, go to the, go to the next paint paddle. We'll clean the slag off. And uh, these will be our braces that tie in, uh, tie in those bat wings on that straight axle. Let's go weld it up.
These would be the trail arms on the front end. And uh, we gotta take it all apart and weld it up. All right, we got her linked up. This is uh, this is the close on this video. We we managed to get these kind of tacked in place. We'll take all this apart and get it all welded up. We've also over here, y'all remember in the first part of the video, we got these made, ready to go. We'll finish the welds on these. And again, whatever's laying around the shop, I know there's a lot of guys out there with this nostalgic rules with rat rods and stuff, but rat rods, no rules. We've got old stuff meeting new stuff. Had some heim joints off a job. Had some old cutouts were way too long on a job that have been around here forever. So we're going to use them, which ends up helping us out on this low rider. Um, as we work our way to the back, we discovered a couple things. We're going to airbag it, obviously, but uh, we found some really old cool stands that have had scrapped around. And you can tell by the rivets and the little angle plate, these came off a, were once on a 65 Chevy truck that we had airbagged and it went to coilovers and stuff and always hanging on to junk and hanging on to parts and hoarding but we'll manage to use these stands and steps to you know set up our airbags so that'd be cool uh old union link off uh, off a front wheel drive van make a pretty good pan hard bar we've talked about so we'll put that in just because we got it and then it dawned on me we've made the motor swap and we managed to put a lot more power in this thing and just gonna you know, it's just gonna be a really fast go-kart but we also realized coming back here from the old idea with this 55 chevy rear end it's a single pull and we want to we just want to have fun doing some really cool burnouts and ever since fried burger and roadkill you know the rule two wheels they got burnt out so we're gonna swap this bad boy out for a little locker setup we got a couple choices i got a ford nine inch but i also have an early gm 12 bolt that that has the uh, richmond lockup in it that again left over from a job so we'll uh we'll do what we can to get that linked up for us and that way we can go ahead and run all these links in the next video and uh so if you guys like a little project like this and We've got all kind of others like subscribe share we really appreciate y'all watching and remember you know help someone out today it just makes things a little better we appreciate you